hi guys welcome back to my channel it is your queen divine mother goddess yamaya and i am coming to you all with another reading specifically for my sun moon and rising signs in sagittarius i hope that you all have been having a blessed prosperous and fulfilled friday and if you are just waking up to your saturday depending on where you are in the world happy saturday to you happy september 3rd so I am going to start off now. We have the lover card, the lovers. So someone is in love at this moment or someone could have just embarked on a journey of, you know, starting a new affair of some sort. Hopefully it's just monogamous and not polygamous or polygamous. <laughs> um, mature woman, apologize for butchering that word, but I I mean, two or more people in a relationship. Mature woman. There's a mature woman that's involved with this um, lover's re dynamic relationship affair. It could be a mother. It could be a wise woman. Or this could be an um, older woman involved with a younger man. Thief. Um, this woman is a thief. In this situation, she could be um, talking to a man who is, you know, a little bit what more so well off. And she um, wants to take what he has so that she can be a, a more, you know, well off woman as well. She's trying to better her life. Mature man. She's trying to better her life for this mature man. Her and this mature man is setting this person up, um, pretending to be lovers, or her and this mature man is lovers, and um, she's trying to set this man up to rob from, rob him, steal from him, or just play him and use him for a lot of what he has. But it's not a genuine relationship. Poverty, because this woman is um, poor. She's broke. She could have had money and lost it. Mm, she never had money. She's always been a false person. She comes off as someone who has things, but she's very deceitful, a manipulator, very conniving, and she's very much so cutthroat with how she goes about things. She could come off as a good person, but in the end, she's going to show you her true cards eventually. And when she does show you her true cards, you'll feel like you've been cheated lovers she reels them in by um, pretending to be in a relationship with them or to have take interest in them to be um you know their partner but this person has no feelings or emotions really for anyone pathway she wears a false mask to cover up who she is inside um she could um 100 percent um try to be a good person but it's just not within her sudden wealth her whole um, plan is to have sudden wealth it is for her to make a come up off of people who she's in this is a scam is what i'm hearing um she um pretty much um um involves herself with people this is not the only person she's involved with that she's doing this to she's she involves herself with these people she can do them well enough so be um with these people for um longer than um years um of longer than months into years just so that she could you know take from these people but she has more than one person she's dating which is why um look courtship which is why i was getting um polygamous or polygamous I don't know why I keep on saying polygamous as if I'm thinking about um, geometry or yeah or um, trigonometry I don't know why I'm hearing that but maybe it's just like calculated which is why I'm hearing like math terms I'm um, saying them before I say polygamous courtship um, so definitely, um, this person does do these things acts as if she's interested in these people courting them, but is really to play them. She could also be doing this with another person, have a true person who she actually is in love with, who's not actually the catch is catch 22. This person that she's doing it for, they're not in love with hers as well this person risked her risks her life and risked her life many times to do this to people who as sometimes are very dangerous people who happen to be wealthy gift 
this man could have offered um that she's doing this with to um marry her if they get a certain amount of money but that was never going to happen never is going to happen she's going to end up in jail he's going to be scot-free because he's not really tied into it and he never accepts money as a wire payment or anything um tied to any wire transfers she always has to you know um take the money out from the bank and get cash and hand it to him and when she meets this man she's meeting this man in the nighttime and when she meets this man this man crazy thing is when she meets this man this man has on she doesn't even know this man when she meets this man this man has on different wigs he has on different facial um hairs and things like that that could be taken off she don't really know this man herself she has been fooled as she is fooling people she is also being fooled as well <laughs> her karma right she's she's losing a lot by helping this man who she thinks is going to be her husband in the future but she um she get these people to propose to her to make them feel like she's going to be with them for a while and she always starts up or you know strike up an argument or a fight to get them to feel like they need to gift her with something else she likes gifts that's her um she could have told people that that is one of her five love languages <laughs> is gifts they could try to give her like words of affirmations or they, you know, um, use verbal words and things like that. Like talk to her sweet, but she doesn't like things like that. Only from the man who doesn't really love her child. This woman is very childish. She could also have gotten pregnant with someone um, and didn't keep the baby or, you know, she could have sued someone and for child support to take care of a baby. It was all to get out of poverty, though. This woman is definitely someone who is a master manipulator. She's someone who's a narcissist herself. I know they like to say that about um, men, but she is a narcissist herself. She has a huge temper. She is someone who is a loose cannon and she could blow up even and start scenes even in public places. She can even have an outburst that is very vulgar in court. <laughs> if things which I'm getting don't go her way, if she doesn't get the allotment that she is, and I'm also hearing allowance that she's expecting, um, she is going to blow a fuse. But someone has on their hand, um, hands a woman who was definitely not for them. And they're wasting a lot of time with this woman because she is never going to love them the way that she wants for them to. And if you're an older man involved with this younger woman, um, please do make better decisions. You could be 58 years old. She could be 22. She could be 30, 37. But please do make better decisions. You can also be... Um, 59 please make better decisions with your choices you could also be 42 45 because this woman she does not love you she's only using you for what you have and she's also giving back to someone else that does not love her either he's actually catch 22 in love with someone else himself <laughs> so everyone's in love with someone who's not in love with them is pretty much what i get from this story this reading but spirit says to be careful because you're a good person and you don't deserve to be mistreated this way and once you find out this truth never go back to this person and be careful with the choices you make in the future with others don't be so willing to give to people financially um, wait to see how they truly feel. Give it some years. Give it some time. Give it some real true time um, to actually pour yourself into someone financially. You can give with love, emotions, all of those things, but you don't have to use your finances. If someone is not stable enough to take care of themselves, you are not the one and it's not your duty to get them onto their feet. They have to do that themselves for themselves. But that is what I have for you. Please do like and subscribe to my channel if this 
resonates with you or if you would like to support my channel. I look forward in seeing you all soon. I hope that you all have a blessed, prosperous, and fulfilling weekend um, and celebrate your holiday well um, by showing yourself self-love and pouring out that love onto others as well as into the universe. And I will be seeing you really soon with my bonus read. So please be on the lookout for that. We are going to be doing some readings for my bonus reads from out of the romance angels. And I know not everyone is in love, but these cards aren't all filled with um, things that are emotionally tied to love some of them are actually telling you that possibly you made the right decision by walking away from someone as an as adults i know that we've all had a love interest at some point or another or even a crush even if you haven't been you know intimate as well as dated someone you could have someone you're thinking about or that you've been just talking to over the internet and we can look into what is going to happen with that um but i will be seeing you all soon so please do make sure you subscribe and get those updates okay i'll see you all soon um be safe all right and make sure you're loving on yourselves you deserve it bye